Hello, welcome to Clare Technologies. So, in our previous video of this uh, new on new file or updated file connector, we have seen uh, we have created one folder and uh, we have uh, created a couple of files, new files, and we have moved uh, the processed files to another folder and all. So, uh, we have did I mean we did some of uh, up, uh, test scenarios for this new file. Now, in this video, we will see what is watermark, how we can apply for this uh, connector, and how we can uh, see like only we will pull only updated the updated files not the new files okay so let's see how we can configure that so to do that uh, you need to just go to this new file updated uh, properties and here if you can see watermark is by default disabled just uh, select here see here created timestamp is there modified timestamp is there if you use created timestamp it will save the uh, file creation date in some object store and it will process the files i mean e even if it is not moved to the another location it will process only new files if you say it is created timestamp okay if you can select a modified timestamp then it will uh, uh, take take into the consideration like the file is already existing uh, i mean in the existing files uh, it will see uh, the last updated date when the file is getting modified so once the pro file is processed it will save that particular time and uh, for the next time it is processing it will check if the file is modified i mean the modified uh, time of that particular file is changed or not if it is same it won't process the file if the last updated file up, uh, updated time of the particular file is getting uh, new new time uh, it is, which, is, which is not stored in object store then it will uh, process the file okay we will see the example then you will get complete picture so i have selected watermark as modified timestamp um, if it, it is uh, 5 seconds only, I don't want to change anything. Uh, okay, so but now uh, I would like to uh, uh, delete this because uh, if you have this configuration, uh, what it will do once the file is getting processed, then that will be moved to this particular path. So in that case, we, we are unable to check the updated files. Updated file scenario or modified file scenario, we cannot. Uh, test with this configuration so for now i removed it so the processing file will be there in the same root folder itself uh, as, as i removed it so it won't move to the tab another folder so i just removed it and i selected modified for this watermark now let's uh, deploy this application and uh, let's see a uh, couple of application i mean couple of scenarios okay so i'm just deploying this application uh, let's waste this uh, file to be deployed and as of now we have uh, uh, nothing nothing here we don't have any files let me create a new file in the meanwhile while the file is getting uh, i mean the, the application is getting deployed so here my file name is fourth file and here i'll have some content like uh, fourth file sorry this is for you what fourth file so i have just saved it uh, let's observe once the application is deployed now uh, this file is getting processed and it will show it will uh, show you the um, payload here in the console okay let's see if this is not yet deployed so let's see what will happen let's wait this to be deployed So it is deployed now if you can observe here uh, it is showing the content of that fourth file which we have added okay but the file is still here because we removed that uh, move to directory configuration so now um, also it, it it took that file only for one time okay now let's modify this file okay so i am just adding updated and I'll save it. Now let's see the console. See here, the updated file is getting taken. This fourth file is updated. So updated content is displayed here. Now let's create another file.
and this for this modified date is saved in the object store now let's uh, or else let me create another file which is uh, fifth file I can say content like uh, fifth file details and I'll save it let me close this and let's see for the next five seconds it will pull only the fifth file not the fourth file just observe the difference okay so for this uh, 57 I mean 58 57 seconds it took only fifth file details it didn't display the old file details because this file is getting updated and it stored that information I mean in the file connector the watermark configuration which we have done we have selected this is modified timestamp like right so under this modified timestamp of the object store of this particular connector it stored the time of the file is getting updated the fourth file so the fourth file is updated long back it's not updated in this right now so that's why it didn't it didn't pick that file to read now let's modify this fourth file again let's see if this file is getting picked or not see now the file content is displayed now the fifth file is not getting updated so that's why it, it don't do anything so let me save this see here fifth file only getting displayed it, it didn't display the fourth file this time okay I think you observe the differences and uh, you understand the concept of this watermark uh, configuration of this new or updated file okay so select this modified timestamp if your requirement is to get only updated files from that particular folder then it will be done also one more thing while scheduling this uh, you, you have two more two options fixed frequency and cron uh, expression if you selected cron expressions you need to give the cron expression here if it is fixed frequency you need to select the um, values as per according to your uh, um, as according to your uh, requirement okay and uh, along with this post processing action you have auto delete right you have true false two options will be there so if you select this true by default like uh, uh, once the file is getting processed the file is getting deleted it won't move to any other directory it will just delete okay that is also one more thing you need to remember you need to keep in mind if you select true here the file is getting removed from the source directory it won't save it anywhere okay and uh, this is apply post action when filed so yeah if uh, the file is uh, processed successfully uh, then it should apply the post processing action by default it is true if any errors are there in that particular file like while processing the file if it is any error even in that scenario also uh, this action will be applicable if you select true here it means if you select true here uh, forget about the file is processed successfully or if it has errors in both scenarios the file is getting uh, deleted or moved to another directory or renamed as per the action you selected here if you select apply post action when failed what it means if the process is failed then what should be done if the process is failed failed if you select a false here then the file will be there in the source directory itself it won't uh, uh, move, move to another directory or it won't re rename it it won't delete if you select true here even the file even the file is getting processed uh, um, not getting processed successfully even there is any errors in that particular file while processing even in that scenario also these actions will be applicable to that particular source folder so that is what this uh, configuration mean so do uh, all these uh, uh, scenarios and play around with this connector as per your requirement you will apply what are the different actions you need to uh, configure for this particular connector I hope you like this video and you get something new uh, about this video and this connector. So if you like this video, please like it and comment it in the, under the video comments. And uh, please subscribe to our channel for more videos.